This is Lisa Stone with Parenting Aces, and I'm sitting here with Mackie McDonald. We just finished watching his teammate, Marcus Giron, win his semifinal match. And Mackie, thank you so much for talking with me. Yeah, no worries. So this is your first year in college, your first year at the NCAAs. You had a great run. Can you talk about the difference between playing in the juniors for yourself versus playing in college for a team? Yeah, I mean, I had a great experience this year being here in Georgia. Um, it was definitely a different, um, I mean, experience for me playing for a team rather than just myself. The uh, the team tournament went well. We got to the semis, um, although we did want to win it, but uh, we came a little bit short, but it's all right. Um, but, yeah, the whole dynamic is just different because you're, you're playing for something bigger than yourself. So, yeah. And talk about the challenge of keeping up with your schoolwork while competing. I know that you've had to do homework while you're here. Some of the guys have had exams proctored. What's that like, and how do you manage your time? It's not easy. Um, I bring my schoolwork on the road, but it's really tough to balance the times in the school, especially with this two-week uh, trip. And the school year is almost over for you guys. Y'all are on the quarter system, but this tournament kind of hits at a challenging point in the school year for you, right? Yeah. Yeah, I actually uh, based my uh, schedule this quarter, though, um, around this tournament because I knew that this was going to be a big event for me, and um, um, I was pretty well prepared mentally um, and just overall for, for the schoolwork to be heavy when I come back, and I'll just do my best when I get back. What's on tap for you for the summer? Um, I'm going to be playing a lot of futures and hopefully challengers, too, a lot of pro tournaments. Um, obviously, juniors is over. Um, and there's no college tournaments this summer, so I'm just going to focus on the ATP ranking. Can you share with us a little bit about your recruiting experience and how you came to decide on UCLA as the place you wanted to be? Yeah, um, UCLA was always my top choice. My um, I have a long family history at UCLA with my dad, uncle, grandpa, and sister going there. So um, that was a big part of it, and also Billy and Grant um, are just great people, and I wanted to be around good people like them, and um, and they've done a great job with me this year, and um, I'm really happy with my choice. There was a lot of speculation that you would skip college and go straight to the tour. Was that even a consideration in your mind, or was that just talk on among the, the powers that be? Um, yes and no. I mean, there's always that question. Um, there's always that drive and that passion to go pro, but, uh, you know, you got to step by step, and college is definitely the right step for me, and that's where I'm at right now. Great. Well, I look forward to watching you in the coming months and the coming years. Best of luck to you. Uh, thanks, Lisa.